Hey folks, this is Lanzo90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Little Martian. Uh, build point five. All right, we finally got our forge built. We can make iron, or we can make steel now. We also get ash now, which ash didn't used to be in the game previously. Let's go ahead and take all this out and toss it in the chest here. So it appears that we need to build our our modules here first before we can build the airlock. So we're going to need a light bulb, a glass and wire, wire. Let's see, glass, we're just going to have to forge that. So let's grab our sand. If there's more in the ship. Oh, we already have some glass actually. All right, so light bulb. Be nice if you could like click on this to like craft that if you uh, had the resources. That's okay. There we go. We're gonna pop this stuff out and put it into the chest. It also opened up all sorts of new research options for us, or construction options for us. Internal doors. No, oh, it's locked in the demo. Okay. Put a couple modules here. Let's see, four. I don't think we can build a square with that. <laughs> this might be enough to get us to be able to see, like, if we can get the airlock down or not. Yeah, it does look like it's going to let us play these. There we go. Functional. So now if we can build the oxygenator, we should probably eat something real quick, because I think we will just immediately die if we run out of food here, because there's no health bar currently. Um, right now I'm going to eat the jackal berries, because I don't think they were... They didn't used to be in the game before, so I imagine... Eating those isn't going to mess with any of our food recipes. At least the good reliable ones. All right, got to find the oxygenator, or at least the generator. It depends. It depends on a thing or two here. Let's see what it'll do. It used to be you could just slap the generator next to the... Next to the building here. And then as long as you put fuel in it. It would start producing oxygen in there. The thing is... Let's see if dry grass works, I suppose. The thing is, there is like something that's called like an actual oxygenator, and I couldn't get it to work in the previous build. Okay, this isn't working. Let's pull our dry grass. I wonder if you can get infinite power just by pulling the grass out before it burns. <laughs> anyway, it does look like we need the oxygenator now. Here it is. Oh, it's simple enough to build now. Outside. or Claim oxygen from the unbreathable atmosphere outside and put it into your modules. I don't know if this needs to be inside the building or outside. Let's see. It's spinning. There it goes. Okay, it's working now. So when I did this before, it glitched out the building so that it wouldn't it would actually not produce oxygen once you put the oxygenator in. I need to move my webcam the only here. One moment, one moment. Send it over to the Cataclysm Dark Days ahead corner. Of course it makes it harder to look at the camera. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this used to actually disable it from making oxygen. It was kind of odd, but it looks like it's fixed now. Uh, we'd like to put another chest next to this generator. I don't know if we have enough scrap for it, and I don't know if I want to use my scrap, but since it seems to be pretty precious. It does look like since oxygen goes down slower now, that 
it might not be as much of an issue as it was before. It used to be you'd always want like a storage box next to your generator. So you can uh, pull fuel out of one and put it in the generator really quickly, but it seems like that's not so much an issue anymore. But I'll still do it for the sake of it. I don't think we need ferns for anything anymore, so I'll consider them fuel as well. And actually, I used to like split these up into separate stacks, so just one big one each, since uh, you don't actually need to fuel your oxygen that much. But anyway. Pretty good spot now. I'd say our next priority would be, well, first greenhouse modules for one thing. I should probably build a campfire as well. Do not place in grassland or near trees. They may catch fire. That's good to know. All right, now we can build some food. I wonder if you can get infinite logs out of these again, or still. <laughs> Because you could take the fire apart and then put it back down and it'd have more fuel in it. Let's see, chanterelles and red caps provide a delightful boost of energy. So this is a good food source if uh, for just scavenging, but eventually I think these do not regrow. Same with like mushrooms. So the best food that you can make infinitely, I think, was the vegetable stew. For one thing, it's the best food on here. But also... These are two farmable things. But let's build a bowl. I'd like to see if the bowl is reusable now, because it used to not be reusable, which is kind of... <laughs> There's a little bit of a problem. And then... Take our food out, and I guess I'll use some more scrap to build a chest. We'll go get more scrap if we need it. But... Alright, cat. Cat sneezing. Good going, kitty. Campfire food storage. Looks like we have enough mushrooms for the mushroom stew. So let's make that real quick. There it is. 35 hunger. All right. Yeah, we get the bowl now. Awesome. 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 Like I said, you have to used to have to replace those bowls. All right. Great stuff. Sort some things out here a little bit. All right. Let's go mine some more ore, I believe. Grabbing more sand wouldn't be so bad either. I don't need to be carrying this hammer around, but that's okay. If we dig these sand tiles up, we'll get uh, sand as well, but it does expand water. When you dig up the sand, at least it used to. So I usually prefer to just pick it up first. Now berries grow back. Take a little shortcut through the water there because we're getting blocked off. Gonna grab some food while we're up here. Keep our options of food good until we uh, can make a farm, which is gonna be my next priority here. All right, let's get some more. All the uh, all the currents are grow back, so I don't have to worry about harvesting them, especially the ones that are far away, because they're not really gonna help us in a pinch, or anything like that. Which I didn't have the hammer, just so I could carry a little bit more stuff here, but it's all right. Okay, we do have a scrap slot, so. Up some more scrap since it seems to be supremely important. Ooh, 
Oops, yeah, clicked off too quick. Be a little bit careful here. I don't know if the Martian will let us lock into the lava, but I prefer not to test that right now. <laughs> I'm guessing he would not, but since we don't have a health bar, if we're wrong, <laughs> we'll probably die instantly. Just got a nice fat stack of ore here, so... Might as well grab a little bit more uncommon ore. Okay. Looks like there's a lot more sizzle trees too. There wasn't there wasn't very many sizzle trees in that first game. But there also wasn't a big need for fabric, so I guess it was fine. Alright, let's head back down. Oops. Need to chop down some of these trees just for a little bit more walking access. <laughs> Alright, smelter. And the hammer selected. Be very careful not to do that. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to press that. Good to know we're running at 144 FPS, though. Not that we shouldn't be. Not a game that looks like this. <laughs> let that take a hot minute there. Just let it take a hot minute. out of the way. Looks like we're going to expand our base downward. Got some more wood in there. Oxygen back. <laughs> I'm not going to let you burn my bush grass generator. Looks like we've already had all these resources because it didn't unlock anything new. All right, so I would like to get solar panels. Looks like we'll need to. Smelt some of this uncommon ore, though. Let's put all this away. Let's see if we can't get any solar panels. Should probably also smelt some more glass, and that's is made in the forge. Okay. You can do it in both now. It does both. What? It does both. Diamond. I don't see indium, though. I'd like to get this thing so that it can uh, repeat build as long as you want it to. hammer. Don't plan on using it anytime soon. Ash and carbon. Okay. Circuit. 
Brass and solder. Hang on, sea solder. Brass, I assume, is in the uh, chainsaw. I'm sure, brass is in the alloy forge. I don't see solder anywhere, though. It's all right. Let's uh, probably start growing some greenhouse modules here. Looks like I have to build modules first, which means we need light bulbs. Which means we need more wire. Now we need a shovel to go get dirt. Go get a jar of dirt. That's all I have to do for this is use the shovel and the dirt here. Make some very boring terrain right in front of our base. <laughs> Just like bare rock or something. Check how much we needed per tile, but let's go see here. Looks like just one. I wonder if uh, we can grow infinitely like we did before. <laughs> Used to be you didn't have to wait for uh, food to grow. You could just water it over and over and it would uh, help it. With like four more... Modules, if possible. So we're going to need more steel. Iron carbon. Control to split the stack. Oh, you do get two steel per thing, though, which is pretty nice. Carbon steel. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, I see, I see. See what I would say for the carbon steel? Is have its recipe be this recipe? And then for this one, you know, the carbon as the fuel is what's uh, turning it into steel. If that makes sense. Greenhouse modules. There we go. Very nice. So let's go try to go find the things that uh, we can farm. Turnips and carrots, I believe. That's actually kind of funny. I think that's that's the same stuff that you could start growing at the start of uh, that uh, <laughs> that flash there. It might be a little bit too bright. It's okay for me, but it's a little bit flashing lights warning-y. It's just a little too intense, I think. Anyway, what I was saying is I think turnips and carrots are the same food in Valheim. Although the interesting thing is this game this game came out before Valheim. So if anyone copied anyone, Valheim copied this one. Yeah, they're, they would have been in development simultaneously, basically. If I had to guess. We found a carrot. Is this uh <laughs> just a tad bit bright? I 
know why I'm waiting for things to pick. I can just keep walking. I'm still not used to that. <laughs> oh, it's parsnips, though. Okay, never mind. It's not exactly the same. It's parsnips and carrots, I think. Okay, actually, finding seeds is going to be a little... A little more challenging, because I think the uh, pre-generated structures used to have all the seeds in them. Or they'd always have a lot of seeds in them. I'm sure there's probably a recipe that turns these parsnips into seeds. At least that's how it worked before. But we do need to find the other plant here. It's a lot of food here, though. A lot more food than there used to be. Okay. And yes, basically, these, these jackalberries seem like they're free to eat. I guess we already gathered those, did we? Okay, let's put these in food storage. And put the scrap in there. Grab our bush grass into the generator. Home glows when it's powered at night, which is very cool. Not gonna let you burn my bush grass. <laughs> Ooh, it'll even use the bowl out of the thing. That's very, very nice. We do need to put uh, wood in there. Now, a good question. If I put food or wood in the storage, would it happen to use this as fuel? No. <laughs> Can't have it all. Can't have it all. That'd make it too easy. Should probably make more than one bowl. Oh, it looks like it's saving the fuel process, though. So taking the fuel out of there isn't going to work every time, but uh, it will keep it from burning out really quick. All right, all fed. We would like to see if we can turn these parsnips into seeds. There they are. Let's see, we have eight tiles right now. I don't mind turning them all into seeds because Not like we have any carrots to grow at the moment. Might as well grow all these. We will need a watering can. Into the workbench. Uh, it'll be a tool for sure, right? Yeah, there we go. I don't know if we need to go fill this with water. I don't think we did last time. Yep, we don't have to. See how they grew already? So I believe... And just keep watering them yeah, as much as we want, and then they just grow right away. You know, a little overpowered. I'm sure there'll be an actual growth system here eventually. But as it is, extremely, extremely useful for our success chances here. I 
think these are taking longer to harvest than before. So there is kind of like a time cost to uh, farming these now. Whereas I think it used to just pick up basically instantly. So it wasn't even it wasn't even much of a time sink to go uh, <laughs> to just grow a bunch of food. So it's a little bit more time intensive, but that's a good thing, I believe. But that's all the time we had for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, never hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more. YouTube puts a strong emphasis on viewer engagement now these days, which is all the things I've just listed. And again, if you want to play this game yourself, it is free, the demo at least. And uh, you can go get that in the description below. But until next time, hope you have a good day.